What this is, is this is a biomedical research facility as well as a medical school. So we have a very large research group. There are different departments within the university, of course, and ours focuses largely on enabling technology in the bio, uh, biological sciences. So things like bioinformatics, genome studies, molecular modeling, protein modeling, things of that nature. The room was conceived as part of the, the construction of this brand new building. We were very, very fortunate in that we were able to design from the ground up, essentially. And uh, this whole facility came about as a result of a very, very generous donation by Dr. David Coffrin, who was a supporter of the, our chairman's work, Dr. Harrell Weinstein, and was really impressed by the quality of work that he was doing and wanted to further that and take that to the next level. So it was his vision, along with our chairman, Dr. Weinstein's, that, that we built this kind of facility to bring in this information and visualize it in ways that are simply not possible in any other way. We are the only facility of this type in a biomedical research facility. So we're extremely lucky that we have this at our disposal. And none of our collaborators in other universities have this kind of technology available to them. And for them, describing hearing the descriptions of what we're talking about, it, it's mind-blowing to them. And whenever they come and see it, they're always taken aback by how quickly we're able to present information to them. Really, it boils down to the fact that, that you are able to envision things that you simply can't in any other way. So for instance, if you're taking things from slice data, you can sit there and you can pour over slice data on a 2D display for days, weeks, months, and not really arrive at a sound conclusion. We can take those same basic images or that same structure and we can reconstruct it here in 3D, which allows you to get a big picture of what's going on very, very quickly without you having to extrapolate out from disparate pieces of data and unify that in one location. You can then interact with it because we have tracking that allows people to move things around and, and change the perspective in ways that you simply just can't on a desktop. You can't take a slice and turn it around into an object. You can, perhaps, in your head, but you may or may not be right. So we're taking that, that data and we're, we're showing it to people here very, very quickly, allowing them to make decisions about it very, very quickly, and then share that information with their collaborators so that they can argue about it and, and decide where the best course of action is going forward. The, the pixel density is absolutely key to displaying the amounts of data that we wanted to display. So for instance, we couldn't show you the details on those MRI scans without this pixel density. A lot of these facilities up until now have been very blocky, so you could see whole pixels on a screen. Whereas with this, you don't even see pixels, you just see the data. And you see it at a level that is on par with what you would see on a pack station that a radiologist would be looking at. So this brings the pixel density, and brings the depth that is absolutely required for this type of visualization. It was solely your Christy sales team that, that brought that option to us and really opened up these possibilities for us. So without them and without that, that sales initiative, we never would have thought this was possible.